thank you very much for uh, thank you very much, Evangelist. And uh, for me, it's always an honor to have uh, you, everybody connecting and listen, your listening ears when it comes to sharing the word of God, something that I have learned in the private with the Lord. But today, I just wanted us to, I, I was, I, I, to be fair, I have enjoyed listening to the audios and that has been a blessing, especially to me, considering my January started very interesting. But listening to the messages, I, I personally see as if they they are still they are still resonating and connecting to the very fact that God is speaking similar things about <clears throat> Him looking for intimacy with His people. And personally, I am looking at it as if it's a continuation of last year's theme. You know, we were talking about the bride and the remnant, and this year is talking about separation. And I'm looking at it, I'm thinking, God just is looking for time alone with his bride, amen. amen. Uh, he has chosen his, his bride. We are privileged to be among those, those number. And now what he's looking for is, can you just separate a minute or two so I can talk with you, amen. amen. And, and this is what I enjoyed about, I'm enjoying about the whole separation, the theme, because it is fascinating to me. But what I was looking into as I was having my time is to actually see that he is, God is just looking for intimacy. He wants the fellowship and he wants a one-to-one -one with each and every one of us, his children, basically. And <clears throat> we go to Revelation 2, it actually talks about, you know, how you have forsaken your first love. Amen. I was very touched when uh, Apostle was speaking last night. He, he touched up on it, on the, on the very fact that we are serving other gods. And this is similar to what I, when I was preparing, that we are guilty of choosing to pay attention to any, any other thing apart from the presence of God. We can actually, we are all capable of making the time to go to work and making the time in our careers. You know, we see our, we highly exalted our children and we're making time to take them to school, but we continually make the excuse that there is not enough time in the day to actually just put the two minutes or five minutes before you even start your day just to hear what your father wanted to teach you for that particular day. And I pray that it's, a, it's my prayer that in this season, every word that has come, we will actually make up our minds to commit to separating ourselves, putting us time specifically, intentionally, knowing that my, I start work at this time, but I am going to wake up five minutes earlier before the rush hour so that I can just hear from the creator of the universe. Amen. Um, and, and and for me, it was similar to, I, I did look at Deuteronomy, this is just an introduction, Deuteronomy 5 and verse 6 to 10, which was talking about, I am the Lord your God who rescued you from the land of Egypt, the place of your slavery. You must not have any other gods but me. You must not make for yourself any idol of any kind of, or images or anything the heaven, in the heavens or on, on the earth or in the seas. You must not bow down to them or worship them for I, the Lord your God, I am a jealous God who will not tolerate worship, to tolerate your affection for any other gods. Amen. 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 Personally to me, I'm looking at that and you know, it touched me this other day when the spirit of God reminded me of something. You know, sometimes you make you've got good excuses of actually saying, I have to, I'm, I'm, I worked, I'm, I've changed my shifts, I'm working days now, Lord. So I have to go to bed early and I have to wake up early because I have to. But it is that mindset that came to me that we sometimes are putting work or hours, other things in 
in front of God. And if we are capable of making it to work on time, capable of making taking our kids to school on time, I'm sure if we are committed to anything, everything is possible. So if we want to make the time, it's a matter of you know, putting the alarm on so that you, you can actually wake up because we can make excuses of the weather is cold and it's snowy outside but God has been faithful from generation to generation from the time we were born and he never he never gives up or never take a break because it's snowing outside he still wakes us up mm-hmm. and breathes the breath of life into our lungs so if he can handle commitment and faithfulness and we are created in his own image I think we are more than capable because we are created in his own image with his nature, amen. amen. So we can actually do much more than he can do. So if we, it's just a matter of showing the commitment. Amen. That I, I, do you really want to talk to me kind of thing? Because if you wanted to talk to somebody, you make the time. You will make the time to put the numbers in your phone and to call him. So I believe that this time it's just him just saying, can you separate whatever it is that looks so important and priority to you just to show me that i matter in your life too amen Amen. that i care about you you know i am connected to you it touched me this week because i i normally wake up around two-ish but this day i didn't wake up Mm -hmm. so i woke up in the morning i was like oh my gosh it's five o'clock so the spirit of god dropped something in my spirit and it was saying i just wanted to see if we are matter enough that you can actually put an alarm on so we can talk. Mm-hmm. It shouldn't just be a one-way communication, a relationship. I want to see if you can actually intentionally, before you go to bed, you put an alarm on. I want to wake up at three o'clock because I just want to talk to my father. Amen. Amen. Okay. So we're just going to go to Matthew because that's where we're going to stay today. Matthew 4. Ma- Matthew. Let's just go to Matthew. Uh-huh. I think that when I put it on Matthew 6, Matthew 6 from verse 1, just to give a brief, uh, uh, just to make it clear. Matthew 6, but I will take it from 7. Let's just take it from 7. Matthew 6 from verse 7. And when you pray, do not keep on babbling like pagans, for they think they will be heard because of their many words. Do not be like them. For your father knows what you need before you ask him. This then is how you should pray. Our father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Mm -hmm. Your kingdom come. Mm -hmm. Your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Mm -hmm. Give us today our daily bread. Give us our debts as we also have forgiven other debtors. And lead us not into temptation. Is the one. Yes, Lord. Is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Amen. It Amen. Family, when I was reading this, 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 this new year, because when he was saying, don't bubble, because your father knows what you need before you ask. Mm-hmm. This is a God who already knows your tomorrow, who already knows your future. And sometimes it's it's like it's heartbreaking to actually say, how come people don't want to know somebody who knows everything about them? Mm -hmm. You know, we continue to struggle every day trying to figure out and we're playing, um, let's figure it out. When there is somebody who actually knows it in detail, Mm -hmm. I would rather have somebody like that so I don't have to be making mistakes. Mm -hmm. I don't have to be worrying and anxious about anything else. But I know that when I am, I am in his presence, he can actually show me what is about to happen next. Amen. What is tomorrow? What is my, what, what my ministry should be like? What is it that I'm getting it wrong? How can I get it better? How can I manage my children? How can I manage my kids? How can I manage my marriage? You know, this is the God. And that's why this year, maybe he has He's still in love with his people and he's still looking for for Mm -hmm. that open door to actually say, I really got all the answers. I know the plan I have for you. I just want you to just see if this year, 2023, you can just separate yourself and see what I can do for you. Amen. Amen. Amen.
and I was looking at uh, each and every one of them. That's why when I put the verse, uh, it was like our father in heaven, hallowed be your name. It's always to me, I'm looking at and thinking, oh, it's always very, it's just manners to just appreciate somebody for the good things they do. Amen. You don't need to a logic to that. You just need to learn that this God has created every human being. He put my eyes and my nose mm -hmm. together. And what he deserves is thank you. Amen. And every morning I'm going to commit myself to actually taking a five minutes of the time that he has actually given me in the day he has actually created that I'm just going to kneel down by my bed and just say thank you for breathing the breath of life again within me. Thank you for allowing me to hear the traffic on the road. Thank you for allowing me to see. Thank you because I can hear that my kids are awake in their rooms. Just manners, courtesy to who is due. And this one was our father, which are in heaven. So I wanted us to just open up our mouth and just appreciate a God who has created you in his image, allowing us to be in 2023. Everybody tells so many people, I'm looking at the COVID st statistics, the 20 millions of people who have lost their lives. Recently, we have just heard about a brother which we have seen walking. We have actually talked to, which touched me. These are real scenarios that make us appreciate the gift of life. Mm. How come we don't do it daily? How come we don't commit ourselves to waking up in the morning and just say thank you for breathing? We are too much in a rush to want to be somewhere than to the one who has actually allowed us to be in his day to allow us to be part of other people's business. Mm. So I want us to just open up our mouths and appreciate the God, the mm. King of Kings, mm. the Lord of Lords, the maker of you and me for making it possible that we have made it even to this day January, that we are still here. We can still meet each other on Zoom. We can still go to church. We can come back. I just want us to open up our mouth and say, God, I am available. Yes, Lord. I am available today, tomorrow, on next week. I am here and I'm available to just make time with you. Amen. Mm -hmm. Father, <laughs> We I am available, Jehovah God, 2022. To our family, we are available. We are available. We are available, mighty God. 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 We are available. Mighty God, mighty God, 
give you all the praise, give you all the glory. into your presence and worship with Jehovah God. We find the time, mighty God, in 2022. We worship you. We call upon your name. Mighty God, we are available. We are available. We are available. We are available, mighty God. In the powerful name of Jesus. We need to focus on Matthew 6, verse 10. Mm. And it says, Your kingdom come, mm. your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Yes. Mm. I want us to understand mm. that each and every one of us mm. is going to sign. Father, we give you praise. There's a purpose for each and, and every one of us, and that is mm. the will towards, that is the reason for your existence. Amen. 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 The king, mm. and there's that king. <clears throat> creator and the maker who put you together mm. when he put you together he had a certain image he hallelujah had one, he had a specific assignment that you hallelujah. are supposed to fulfill Amen. and hallelujah. it doesn't matter how long it takes his mm -mm. intent has not changed he no. still wants you to accomplish what you need to we will go through it so long we are going to take you are going to make this assignment take Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. There is something specific about the king when it comes to you. Yes. It will not change. It will not change because you don't want it, and your mm. journey may get is getting tough. The seasons mm. are getting mm. harder. That mm. does not move him because everything that he does according mm. to, mm. to you. It is to, to sharpen you, to grow mm. you, to develop you so that mm. you can be equipped fully for your assignment. And some Amen. of you yeah. along the process. Amen. Mm. We, take, we take too long because Hallelujah. we are not sure of, of whatever it is that is going along in us. He wants mm. us to be Mm, and hallelujah. He, he, he will take ba, 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 ba. for us to fulfill mm. that assignment. He will come yeah. even sit down and wait for you until you get to a place of maturity mm. so you can work with him. Amen. Amen. I personally see that this year, anybody who is ready to hear that word separation will be able to let the will of God prevail in their life and fulfill what God had for them. Yeah. That is the master's 
plan. That is the master's will. And I want us to say, let your will be done in me. Hallelujah. Let your will be done in me. And reveal my reason for existing if you don't know it yet. So Lord, reveal my reason for existing. I don't want to walk in vain. I don't want to do what you do doing i don't mm -mm. want to waste time copying and copying no. and copying and casting and you know no. you're copying and you're pasting other people's assignment mm. i mm. want to know the specific reason to why mm. i was created mm. i want to be uh, in alignment with exactly what you want me to do so lord reveal to me uh, my, my reason for existence mm. Mm. let your will be done in me Can you yes, no. let your will be done in me oh god Yes, Lord. It is my prayer in two minutes. I am not saying it. I am not Lord, may we know the specific thing we have to do at a specific time. Lord, let your kingdom come in my life, oh God. Let your will be in my life as you have failed. My people, my existence, my why we are here in the mighty name of Jesus, my God. I pray the Lord you reveal the reason why this is so and we don't want to be your Lord. Marcus, the nation, not a master, Ba 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 
let your will, let your will be done, my Jesus. In the name of Jesus, Let's go back to Matthew 6, verse 11. Amen. 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 It says, give us today our daily bread. Amen. Amen. It's the only something that you can only get this daily bread if you connect with the master on a daily basis. Amen. He is available. He has never stopped. Mm. He, is ne he never runs out of wisdom. He never mm. runs out of knowledge. He never runs out of ideas. Amen. Mm. He says, give us give us today our daily bread this is somebody who wants to walk in alignment with god he mm. wants to fulfill if you want to fulfill your assignment Hallelujah. you need to make mm. time on a daily basis so he can come mm. with you he can educate you on a daily basis he can educate you on what you need to do what what, what area you need to work on what area you need to develop what area you still need some work on so of us saying god i am i daily you're making the time amen because mm -hmm. today and yesterday's revelation is different god is all knowing, all powerful, and we is gonna have to take us to want to commune with him, commit with him, talk with him on a daily basis, so he can feed us daily. Amen. Amen. Yeah. Here is to say, you know, God wants us to be fruitful and productive. Amen. Daily. We're only, you know, one month in, one month out, but daily. Mm -hmm. He wants us to be. You know, growing each step of the way. The mm. only, the only way, you know, it makes him happy to see his children developing, spiritually mm. growing. Mm. You know, where you was yesterday, last year, should not be the same place or the same mm. area you were struggling last year. You cannot be struggling with them still here. Mm. I'm not saying it's, it's something that you is wrong, but it's just we just need to go God. You know, we need to get mm. the. I can no longer be doing the same, making the same excuse. I can no longer be saying I don't have the time because you, the time is there. You just need to make time. Amen. Mm -hmm. not making the same excuse and saying, you know, I can't do this. The enemy is still attacking me. You know, the enemy, the enemy. Because sometimes I, I, I believe the enemy sometimes is done. I'm thinking, I don't think I even did that. Because sometimes it's just the fact that we do not make the time in a day to just stay the minute where God could have communi could communicated something that could have served, served, served you hustle during the whole day. Mm -hmm. You know, have you had, actually had a time where you in the morning you are at a prayer meeting with, with, with the Trinity powers and he told you something. He gave you wisdom for the day. And you was going through the day knowing I shouldn't do that. 
every single time you were about to say something, he he somehow found a way to close your mouth. He was helping you throughout the way. The Holy Spirit was so vivid and live with you when you went to work. As you was communicating with your children, he was so live, helping you how to communicate. This is what I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. Giving your daily bread, having your daily bread daily. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Help you to grow. What mm. I want to pray for is, is this that we, for us to be fruitful and productive, we have to be as we have to be a people that say shed a light mm. on anything yes, that does not please you. Shed mm. a light, and that means you have to be ready that whatever is gonna shed a light on might not be pretty. Amen. 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 It might be pretty. It might be shedding a light on your husband's weaknesses. It might be shedding a light on your wife's weaknesses. And I'm telling you, I'm speaking this with conviction because I have seen God shedding a light on some things that you are actually thinking, God, I, 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 are you or are you sure I can handle this? Mm. But you ought to be a people. If you stay in His presence, He give you the strength to Amen. go on. Amen. Amen. So. And it's going to take us to love one another. It's going to take us to really be understanding with one another because as God will be shedding a light on things, there are going to be some sensitive things that He's going to be shedding a light on character, you know, attitudes. And it's no, it's going to be us to cover one another. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. A light on those things, whether it's going to be on my pastor, it's not my it's not my business to be talking to sister who, it, because if he has shed a light on my pastor, on me to see that particular area that means he has, he has I'm honored enough to, to be in prayer, to pray for him, amen, amen. so he, he shed the light on a particular area over my life I am hoping and I'm believing that you will, you will dedicate the time in prayer just as you would have if it was your own son, mm. if it was your own daughter, because we say we are brothers and sisters. So we have to do it as if it was genetically, we are spiritually connected. So we have to do things knowing that this is my brother. If he's going through pain, do you know the church is affected as the body? Yeah. So if they have got an issue, this issue will affect the body if we don't get it sorted. So mm -hmm. if God shows you, shed the light on it, you will dedicate your time in prayer, whether it is a sickness that God will reveal that there's a sickness in that family, whether it's a certain leprosy in a family, in a marriage, you will not have business to talk about it to sister who, unless God tells you. Because that's what Sister Juanita was talking about. Don't do anything and everything just because. Do it unless God tells you to do it. If God has spoken to you only, that means he's trusting you for that particular assignment. There is time to talk and there is time to be quiet. And God is, ex God is in trust trusting us with that responsibility this year. If you separate yourself, there will be a lot you will see. There will be a lot God will show up in. There will be a lot God will communicate with you with. So it doesn't mean go and tell brother. <clears throat> it just means God has entrusted you with that area. Unless it says go and tell the brother because it is time. Don't go and talk about it. Just pray about it. Amen. Amen. I want us to say shed a light. Yeah. On any area of my life, the light, Lord. what is affecting in, in my growth spiritually? Yeah. That is affecting my my husband spiritually. Yeah. That is affecting my children spiritually. Should yeah. I live on any connection in that is Lord. affecting my ability to grow spiritually, mentally, financially in the name of Jesus? Can you pray? Lord, the the Lord. Share <laughs> Every man is 
I God shed light, O God, any connection that we have with one another. In the mighty name of Jesus, Father, we pray that we may grow and develop in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus, we give you the praise, we give you the glory, we give you the honor. In the mighty name of Jesus, we give you praise, we give you glory. We give you praise. We give you growth. We give you honor. In the name of Jesus. We give you praise. We give you growth. We the mighty God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jehovah God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes, mighty God. Thank you, Jesus. We also are given our debtors. Amen. Mm. Give us our debts mm. as we also forgive, mm. forgiving our debtors. Mm. Forgiveness is going to be of necessity Hallelujah. this year. Hallelujah. Because okay. it's, it's, it's something that when we, separation will always bring about some uh, mm. some some pain mm. some in some areas because if you are being you are separating from a friend who last year was just okay, mm. Amen. it doesn't seem like he's gonna wake up because there is something God is calling you to, God is calling you to deep. God is calling you to something else. It's going to cause some friction. Hallelujah. Mm. It's going to cause some pain, some emotional pain. It's going to cause some, some, some damage to one area of the other. Mm. And, you know, when I was looking at it and I was trying to understand forgiveness, how does one forgive and forget? How does God do it? I was asking, how do you do it? Because... You talk about forgive, you know, 70 times seven, but I'm 25 and I'm already had enough of forgiving somebody. Mm. And, you know, he showed me, he, he was showing me Isaiah 43, verse 25. And he said that, you know, and he stated that I am he who blots out your transgression for my own sake. Mm. 
Lord, mm. remember your sins. Hallelujah. Amen. That is him. That's how he does it. He forgives for his own sake. Mm. He doesn't do it for your sake. He does it to maintain his identity. Mm. Hallelujah. Mm. He does it because as a holy God that he is, he cannot afford to be seeing weaknesses, blem seeing your, your weak areas and still be weak. So we like as well to be able to maintain our place mm. as children of God, in the image of God, we mm. ought to be a people who are willing to pursue holiness and righteousness. Amen. Amen. And the standards of the kingdom of heaven. <clears throat> it doesn't matter who does it, how long they do it, how many times they do it, but you have to remind yourself your standard as a child of God. Mm. Your standard and your, your, your pursuit in the kingdom that you have actually confessed yourself into mm. is righteousness and holiness. Mm. And you, you are expected to forgive people, mm. not because of them, but because you want to maintain your status as a child of God. Amen. And Amen. this is what makes it easier for me. You have to realize not everybody will ever come back to you and say sorry, mm. because you you will work for a long time. Mm -hmm. But we are to be a people that says, I was made in the image of God mm -hmm. for the sake of my, the integrity and Amen. the standard of the kingdom. I Amen. choose to forgive you because I, it helps me to have my state of mind. Praise the Lord. I can still focus on the cross. Mm. My, my responsibility is to mm. make sure I obey the king. Amen. I do what the king expects me. Amen. I don't know what other people want to do in that mm -hmm. particular season. But mm -hmm. my personal choice Amen. is to obey the king. And Amen. my my prayer is that you would choose to trust and obey the king by mm -hmm. seeking to do what the king desire. And Amen. that means to forgive people. Amen. And it will mean that your husband will do it continually and mm. he is still doing it, but you will choose to mm. forgive because that will allow you mm. to still be in a place of holiness mm. and righteousness mm. and be still able to pray mm. for our, our, those who are dated. Amen. Mm. If you are holding grudges, and you are still in a place of anger and you know you you are resentful it is very hard for you to pray for your enemies mm -hmm. because you are still reminding yourself of what they did how they did it and when they did it what time they did it what they were wearing mm -hmm. and my god is saying he forgives for for his own sake for so yeah. he remembers your sins no sins more. No more. Mm -hmm. And I want us to be in a place of saying, always remind yourself. Mm. My my heart desire is to seek to do what the king desire. Righteousness mm. is my standard. Holiness mm. is the standard of the kingdom. If you call yourself a child of the king mm. in the mm. kingdom of heaven, Forgiveness will have to be something you ought to learn to do naturally. Mm. So we are to, we are to do it whether we feel it mm. or we don't. But because that's our policy, mm -hmm. that is our procedure in the kingdom. We mm -hmm. forgive people whether they say sorry or not. And mm -hmm. we always go back to remembering our reference is God. Every single day he's forgiven mm -hmm. you. Every single day he's faithful to you, not because mm -hmm. you are, but because he, that's the, the nature of our God. He yes. is just a good yes. God. He's just a faithful God. Mm -hmm. He's just a loving God. And if we are his children made in his image, those mm -hmm. are our characteristics too. Hallelujah. Amen. So this year we're going to say, Lord, help me. Help me how to forgive if you if mm. you find it hard. Let me remind me every day how to forgive my enemies. Hallelujah. Every single day, Lord, mm. I am willing to pursue holiness and righteousness. Yes, Lord. 
standard of the kingdom of heaven. Yes. Help me to continue to pursue holiness. Hallelujah. Mm. Help me oh. to continue to pursue righteousness. Mm. Whether it feels right or it feels unfair, mm. I will continue to pursue holiness, mm. righteousness, whether mm. I do, I deserve whatever they did, they are doing mm. or not. Mm. But I pursue holiness. Mm. I pursue it even when my children are stepping on my toes. Mm. I pursue holiness mm. and righteousness even when my brother and sister are hurting me and continue to do that. My mm. standard still continues to stay. I pursue wow. holiness and righteousness. Hallelujah. Mm. Whether mm. your need says they hate you and they mm. don't like you. Whether it mm. feels fair or not, you mm. continue to pursue holiness and mm. righteousness because it is what the king desires. Hallelujah. Let Amen. us pray because we just got one more. Hallelujah. Let us pray. Lord, I am willing to pursue holiness and what their abilities to do that in the name of because Jesus. Because we have your strength. Oh God, in the name of Jesus. We have your strength, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Lord. In the name of Jesus. For the strength of the King. Thank you, Lord. Oh, we bless you, Lord. We bless you. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. I just wanted us to just pray this last one, which talks about lead us not in temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For you is the kingdom and the power and the glory. Oh, yes. Lead us not oh, yes. in temptation. This year yes. it is your prayer, Lord. Yes, lead Lord. me not into temptation. Yes. Lord, will lead me yes, into Lord, we acknowledge things that are necessary. We acknowledge, Lord. Do not let me go into those places. In the name of Jesus, Do not acknowledge me your ability. But that will lead me into temptation. To protect Do not let me go into temptation. That will rob me my time with you. Do not She glorify your name in everything. I am praying for Sister Juliet, oh God. I pray that you deliver her from all evil. The family, the children. 
Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise amen the Lord. Amen and amen. Amen. Oh, it is, it's just been a wonderful time. It's been an honor. And I'm praying that God will continue to mm. be your guide, your shepherd this year. Hallelujah. Amen. Let him be your shepherd to lead you, to guide amen. you, to cover you. And to protect you, you know, over the devil's schemes. Mm. He's going to kill and destroy, but if you stay in his presence, if you abide under the shadow of the Most High, he'll mm. watch over you. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen, amen and amen. Amen and amen. amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise hallelujah. Hallelujah. 